Hi everybody, I'm Melly Spaghetti and welcome back to another video. Today I'm trying out waterproof makeup. You know, sometimes waterproof isn't waterproof and it's just hard to remove at the end of the day. So I've tested out like behind the scenes all the makeup I'm using. I really wanted to give it the best shot I could. Cause I didn't want I didn't want to do like a first impressions and be like, oh this doesn't work because I did it this certain way, whatever. Uh like with the foundation specifically because I wanted my makeup to look nice for this video and for the beach. Going to the beach in a full face of makeup. Terrible. But hopefully everything stays in place and I don't have to <laughs> retouch any makeup or anything. Yeah. So let's get to it. So I already have my moisturizer, sunscreen, and primer on because those need a a little bit of time to set before I do my makeup. So I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using the Bronx Colors Waterproof Foundation. And this is in the shade Medium Beige. It doesn't actually say it on here, but I know it's Medium Beige. Because it was, it was the darkest color on the Ulta website. I'm not even that dark. But it is a little bit too dark right now. So I mixed in some of my ordinary. It's now too light. I got a tan. Hopefully I get tan enough to use the Bronx one just fine. But whatever. Um, yeah. Let's just get to it. The Bronx foundation does have like warm undertones in it. Which I love. It suits me green. So now going in with the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. It's waterproof. And this one doesn't come with a sponge. So I'm just taking the one from my e.l.f. powder. And pressing it into the skin. Say hi, checkers. <laughs> My mom's been out on vacation, and this is her cat, and he's been very clingy with me this past week. So this isn't marketed as waterproof, but I'm gonna contour anyway, cause I want to. And I'm just taking the yellow powder. With an e.l.f. foundation brush. I'm just going under the eyes to brighten things up a bit. And then now with an e.l.f. bronzing brush. Just dipping into the brown. I'm going in. So now going in for brows, I'm using the Wonder Brow in jet black so i'm pretty sure this only works if you have like actual brow hairs because this actually smudges off on me and i don't think it's supposed to do that oh well so i'm going to be doing my brows Since I don't have any brows, I just take my my angled brush and I like dip it into. <laughs> I just get some off the little brush, and then I just outline my brow. So now going back with my contour palette, I'm taking a fluffy blending brush 
And I'm just taking some of the contour powder and putting it in my crease. So I've tried this eyeliner before. It's been my favorite liquid liner since high school. It's the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Liner. So I know for a fact this is waterproof. But since I'm testing out waterproof makeup anyways, why not use it? There. So now going in with the Catrice Waterproof Lashes to Kill Volume Mascara. It's going to coat my lashes. And since I'm not wearing lashes today, because I know for a fact there is no such thing as waterproof eyelash glue, I'm just doing two coats of mascara. Actually, there probably is waterproof eyelash glue. Well, all the ones at the drugstore level aren't, and I don't feel like paying more than $6 for eyelash glue. So while my mascara dries, I'm going to be bronzing and highlighting, which aren't waterproof, so I don't really care. I'm using Wet n Wild's Ticket to Brazil to bronze things up a bit. I'm going in with Smolder Cosmetics Pressed Highlighter in Aurelia, Aurelia, whatever. I've been really liking this highlight, you guys. It's really pretty. So now I'm going in with J.Cat's Beauty Rocker Chic Velvet Touch Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. This one is called The Show Goes On. I really hope this is waterproof because my eyes cry a lot sometimes when I get like my allergies and I just need waterproof eyeliner. This isn't as like pigmented as I like my white eyeliners to be. I still really prefer NYX's a uh, milk pencil. But if this is waterproof, then I don't think I really care. <laughs> so I'm not going in with J Cat's Rock Your Chic Velvet Touch Waterproof Gel Lip Liner. Same as the eyeliner, but this is a lip liner. This one is in the shade Hands Up High. Usually I fill in my lips with my lip liner. But this is just like too sticky to do such a thing. So I'm just lining my lips with it. And now I'm going with Anastasia's liquid lipstick and Sad Girl. So this is the look I'm taking to the beach. I usually never go to the beach with a full face of makeup, so. This is going to be interesting. And I'm going with my boyfriend. I'll probably have some like vloggy bits of us over there. I'm not sure which beach we're going to. But yeah. So hopefully this stays. I'm bringing a makeup bag just in case. Like this doesn't stay. So let's roll the clip. So we just got to the beach and we set up our umbrella and everything. And look how pretty the water is. So like it passed the sunglasses test, I think. It didn't come off. Did it come off? No. Yeah, it didn't come off. Um, I'm gonna go in the water right now. We'll see. I just got knocked over by a couple waves and I didn't realize this beach was like a really pebbly beach so like now my feet hurt too but the water's nice and the current's nice I just need water shoes next time I go 
My makeup's still good though. Evan, since we're at the beach, do you think this makes me a beach golf? So we're gonna go home right now because we have to pick up Vic. We have to pick up Vic since we're going to see Cupcake later. And I'm bringing her some sand home because she asked for it. And yeah, we we're only here for like an hour, but I got tossed by the waves pretty good. And my makeup's still on, it's just a little cakey like on my forehead and my nose. It's like separating right here. It's like all my oily, like all the places I get oily on my face are like separating. But other than that, this held up pretty well. Um, we'll take a shower in it and we'll see. Open, <laughs> open the sun. <laughs> open the sun. <laughs> I'll see you guys when I get home. So I was gonna shower in my makeup, but I only have an hour to get ready. So I'm not. But the foundation wore off on my cheeks and my nose. And like my fork. My the foundation wore off. Um the eyeliner came off. The lipstick sort of came off. But everything else stayed put really well. My final verdict is the eyeliner mascara, the Wonder Brows waterproof. It kind of faded a bit, but it is waterproof. The foundation's not so much waterproof. My contour stayed surprisingly. So that's the foundation did stay there. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it out here. I hope you guys are doing well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.